Relocating my journey. Hi everyone. Um, just as you know, I am originally from Gauteng, okay, in the East Rand, and have now moved to Limpopo, okay. Um, prior to even coming to the decision of coming this side, the Lord was already preparing me spiritually. Um, I remember when I first asked my children. Um, to join me for our first whole night prayer. It was the Lord that was that was building me up and preparing me for what was up ahead. Okay, I feel this will be a blessing um, to someone because as a people, we are at different stages. Okay, so the Lord was preparing me and then the Lord put it also in my heart to start praying in the early hours of the morning. So I would pray any time from 12 o'clock midnight to the early hours of the morning, okay? Any time from 12 a.m. until perhaps 4 a.m. usually, okay? But it was usually between 12 and 2, okay? So I would just get up and be praying. But the Lord was already preparing me for what was ahead. And I experienced heavy spiritual warfare like I have never experienced in my entire life. I was in shock like it was it was a lot like it was a lot and the Lord still put it in my heart to keep on praying so I kept on pushing okay I was I was experiencing attacks from all fronts like it was it was no joke okay but it just gave me more reason to pray and then prior for me prior to Prior to moving, I remember that there were times when I actually couldn't even sleep. That's how hard the, the warfare was, okay? And then um, I moved, okay? And when I moved, I feel like had someone told me what was up ahead, like, that's why the Lord never lets us know what is what tomorrow holds. Tomorrow, you know, it just remains a mystery, but... God is with us, so we need not fear. And this is not to um, to make someone fear, but to understand that when God is leading you to fast and to pray, it's in preparation for what is before you, okay? As we are called to different things and different environments, okay? So mm -hmm. upon arriving in this new environment, I was met up with a, whole, a warfare I've never experienced in my whole life, you know? It got so bad. I moved in in 2020. I remember how hard it was. Like I had attacks on all fronts, on all fronts, meaning physically, emotionally, mentally, um, financially, in all fronts, in all fronts. It was no joke. I always say if 2020 did not wipe me out, I'm not going anywhere. Okay. So that was the kind of warfare I, I went through. It was a lot. It was a lot. I learned a lot. And I found YouTube very comforting at that time as the Lord was leading me to YouTubers who were going through the same thing. I felt like it was a wave of tests and it, it, it hurt. I remember I felt like the first wave came and it hit you know, and how I would listen to the videos. And I remember there was a time when I was looking to this um, this other guy from Watchmen on the Wall. I forgot his name. I think his name is Nate. And he was actually crying as he was telling. Um, he was not being specific, but he was telling about the 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 hard test and the warfare that um, him and his wife were going through. And I felt so comforted to know like at this time in my life, there's another group that's going through the same thing as me. It gave me courage because does, I also broke down, you know, at night when it was time for me to pray and I was alone, I would break down before the Lord. So I felt so encouraged to know that I've got brothers and sisters around the world who are going through the same thing. And I remember thinking, well, it's better there, couple, I'm alone. You know, these couples that are crying, they, they do not... Um, they do not understand that some of us are single and have to go through this alone. We're going through this solo, which is the Lord Jesus by our side and our children. It was a lot. It was a lot. So if the Lord has called you to relocate or is telling you or leading you to relocate, 
and you feel in your spirit to pray. You feel in your spirit to fast. You want to do that. There's a preparation that um, there's a preparation that 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 is required because your prayers go on ahead of you as you are praying. You know the Lord is moving and acting on your behalf. So I just uh, I just felt to share that like it doesn't matter what we what we go through god is with us like i said i felt like it was the first wave meaning there were many other waves that came afterwards and it was no joke it was no joke it came a point where i, I just went through things and i just kept quiet all i could do was just to keep quiet i really had nothing else to say i just prayed in tongues and i just kept silence you know so for anyone who finds themselves going through this at this time, I just want you to know that it will not always be this way. And some someone might say, I just feel like it's been just been a wave after a wave beating up against me. It's all making you strong. It's all making you strong. It's teaching you to learn to weather the storm without complaining, to learn to weather the storm alone, and to know that God is enough. God is enough, you know? Um, there are also some people who have always had that support and God just wanted you to go through things without that support and to know that God is enough. You know, his grace is sufficient for you. So looking back at what I had to face, what I had to go through, it made me stronger. It, it, it built my faith. It improved my relationship with the Lord. Looking back at how far I have come, like it's hard to believe, like, it's hard to believe like i've really i've really made made some great leaps i would say okay so for whoever who may feel that they're going through the through the waves of test and it's just wave after wave and there's hardly any chance to breathe i just want you to know that your brothers and sisters who, who have went on before you went through the same thing don't take things personal Whatever that's beating up against you, it also beat up against others as well. You know, I've already made a video actually about this where I said I actually felt like I was I was in a small boat right in the middle of the ocean, very open to the elements. Okay, being a single mother in a environment I, I'm not even familiar with, you know. But you know, God is good. God is good. So be encouraged. God is with you. He will never leave you, nor will he forsake you, okay? For every step we take towards God, you know, he will take five steps. He will take five steps, okay? So stay strong in the Lord. God bless.